This group uh, in Edinburgh is part of the UK Cystic Fibrosis Gene Therapy Consortium. And for over 10 years now, we've been working on developing gene therapy from a purely lab-based concept um, to something that we can actually use in the clinic to treat people with CF. So we're at the point now of having all the necessary funding and infrastructure to, to start the trial. Cystic fibrosis affects all the cells in the body, uh, but its effects are most felt in the lungs and in the gut in most patients. Cystic fibrosis affects uh, children and adults with cystic fibrosis, uh, mostly by causing them to have uh, a buildup of mucus within the lungs, and that buildup of mucus becomes infected, and once it becomes infected, it begins to damage the lungs, and that damage ultimately leads, in most people with cystic fibrosis, to uh, an early death because of respiratory failure. 130 patients are planned to take part in the trial, uh, which uh, will take place in clinical sites in London at the Royal Brompton Hospital, here at the Royal Hospital for Sick Children in Edinburgh and Western General Hospital. Patients that are recruited to the trial are, are asked to come here to the Western General to our specially designed uh, uh, cubicles in which we give uh, the nebulised treatment. And when they come for a treatment, we're giving this treatment by inhalation, so it's in a liquid form, and we put it in a nebulizer which is this device here, powered by compressed air. It's taped up so they can't actually see the medication because it's a placebo-controlled trial and not be able to tell if they're on active treatment or dummy treatment. And they will inhale from this in the uh, chamber specially designed for the purpose. The idea is that when we nebulize this product into the lungs of patients, it then enters the cells of the patient's lungs where it is expressed as a, a protein and this is the protein that's defective in people with CF. So now we have in their cells a working version of the protein that they have that's defective and we um, anticipate that because of that uh, their lung condition will improve and we know that this is likely to happen because of experiments we've done obviously in the lab in cells and so on in our preclinical work. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.